so for this first um, demo, although this course is around how to upload general journal entries, I would just like to remind you what it looks like to post a manual journal so you can then contrast that with um, the upload methodology to see how much more efficient the uploading could be. So for this journal, we're going to use the tile or the Fiori app post general journal entries. The business scenario is we're going to manually enter a general ledger journal to record a prepaid telephone expense against a marketing cost center. For master data, we're going to use company code 1710 for the US, document type SA. We'll use this PNL account for telephone expenses, a marketing cost center. On the balance sheet side, we'll use a, a prepaid expenses account. And for tax, we'll just use I0, uh, zero tax percentage code. So with that master data review, let's um, go into the demo. So from our Fiori um, dashboard, as I said, we're not going to use the upload journal, journal tile for this one. We're going to use the post journal entries, the manual one, just so we can compare and contrast these two methods. So on the manual one, once we uh, get into the journal, you'll have to enter your regular data, like selecting a, a journal entry posting date or document date that is in the posting date, company code 1710 US dollar. We can enter um, a reference here as a test, um, sort of a test reference. And we could enter some uh, header text here just to complete it. And here, as I mentioned, we're just using an SA document. So nothing fancy in this uh, standard header. If we just scroll down a bit here, then we can then go down to the line items and enter the line items in Fiori. So for the GL account here, with Fiori, you can just start typing. So I'll start TL for telephone, and you'll see here just popped up the entries and automatically um, sorted to the list. So I can just pick telephone expenses, a nice feature of the Fiori app. So let's enter our debits, 2,500. GL account again for prepayments. If I just start typing PRE, you'll see, bam, the list pops up. Straight away, prepaid expenses. Again, the, the super fast search on HANA, very uh, useful. And we can put in the amount here, 2,500. If I just press enter on that, on this balanced entry, you'll see that on these line items here, the indicator will turn red because I need to enter more data on the line items, just as per normal SAP. So use these arrows to expose the line item detail. So let's go for the line item detail on the PNL. And as per regular SAP, the reason why this is red is we're going to need an account assignment and a tax code, things like that. So let's go ahead and uh, enter some uh, text here um, just to get something in the um, um, in the line item. So I'll just say a phone bill in the text. And let's enter tax code. So we'll pick the um, I0. I'm not going to go for any tax details. Tax jurisdiction code, we'll just default that to a dummy California jurisdiction code here. And that's really all we'll need. And then, yep, cost center. Again, I'll start typing marketing. So MAR and its system automatically searches and finds the marketing cost center for us. That should be all we need. So if I just press enter here, then this red indicator on this line item will turn green. Everything is complete on the PNL line. So we'll just squeeze it up here, go onto the balance sheet side and open it up. So we'll see that um, item text is mandatory here. We'll put in some text there, and then tax code is optional. That's why it's in uh, this yellow color. We'll just pop in a tax code. So we're just doing a manual journal entry, normal header and line item detail. Um, and then um, oh, we'll need to still put in a tax jurisdiction code here to get rid of that red. Just to um, put in California jurisdiction code here, that'll um, do it for us. That'll balance the entry and get rid of any errors. Let's press enter, that uh, indicator will turn green now. So a regular journal, get the line items um, sorted out, squeeze that up, and we've got a balanced entry with zero dollars, and then now uh, we should be able to go ahead here and just use the posting um, entry down here to, to post the journal. And um, yep, I think that's all we need. And there's a bunch of other functions down here, upload, hold, and simulate, which we'll look at later, but here we're just gonna go post the journal. And the system will turn away and come back with a document number. So this was just a reminder on on what you need to post a manual journal. There we have our document number, number 16. There we go. So to post a manual document, you'll see there's a fair amount of pain involved. Let's say we can just go to the, the home button there and uh, to get back to our Ferrari launch pad. But that was a reminder. Posting a manual journal, you have to go into all the header, all the line item detail. And what we're going to do is we're going to then now and contrast that with uploading which is really going to be, require the same information as the manual journals, but you can do it on mass and upload from Excel. So that was really just a quick reminder. So before we uh, actually go into that upload, just let's have a look at a quick process flow. 
So the high level process flow, when we get to upload, which is the next lesson, you'll launch the Fiori app, you'll create the Excel template, you'll then populate the Excel template with also the header and the line item details, upload via the Fiori app, and then post via the Fiori app. So the uploading and posting are two separate steps because basically once you initially upload, you can then review the error log, check out the data before you're happy with it, and then do the final posting. So this is really the process flow that you're going to go through when you're using the, um, the, the upload process. And once the template is created, you don't have to create a new template each time. You can really just start with populating the file. So now that you've seen the process flow and we've seen how to enter a manual journal, let's get on to the next lesson and see how this upload works.